This is Lumsark, and in this video we are looking at disease by fungi and protists. So first of all we're going to look at fungal diseases, as there are only a few fungal diseases which affect humans. Now one of the better known minor fungal diseases is called athlete's foot, yet this can be cured by antifungal drugs. In plants however, fungal diseases are common and they can be devastating. In fact, they can result in the devastation of huge areas of crops, including food. And one such fungal disease is called rose black spot. So rose black spot is a fungal disease of rose leaves. Now it causes purple or black spots to develop on the leaves and it is a nuisance in gardens and for commercial flower growers. So the leaves often turn yellow and then they drop early. And this weakens the plant because it reduces the area of leaves able to photosynthesize. So this inhibits the growth of the flowers on the rose. Now the spores of a fungus can be carried by the wind and this means that it can be spread out over the whole plant. So this means that gardeners attempt to prevent its spread by removing and burning affected leaves. So horticulturists have also bred types of roses that are resistant to black spot, yet this is not 100% reliable and the disease cannot be prevented or cured fully effectively. So next we have diseases caused by protists. Protists are a type of single-celled organism that can cause a range of diseases in animals and plants. Now they are relatively rare pathogens, but they can often be very serious. Now diseases caused by protists often involve a vector to transfer the protist. And one of these such things is malaria. So one disease that is caused by protists is malaria. And the protists are able to reproduce sexually in the Anopheles mosquito, which is the vector in this case and the mosquito are then able to act as the vectors of the disease. So the female mosquito needs two meals of human blood before she can lay her eggs. This is when the protists are passed into the human bloodstream. So the protists then travel around the human body in the circulatory system where they reproduce asexually. They affect the liver and they also damage red blood cells. So malaria can cause fever, tiredness, vomiting, and in severe cases, it can lead to death. Now, if malaria is diagnosed quickly, it can be treated using a combination of drugs, but this is not always available in the countries most affected by malaria because they are often poorer countries. Now, the protists have also become resistant to many types of these medicines. Now, other ways to prevent malaria include using insecticide impregnated insect nets to prevent mosquitoes from biting humans, using insecticides to kill mosquitoes in homes and offices, preventing the vectors from breeding by killing the larvae, and travelers can also take anti-malarial drugs that kill the parasites in the blood. So thank you for watching this video on disease by fungi and protists, and see you soon. Bye.